Today I want to inform you about the travel, COVID and visa situation in Malaysia. I know a lot of things have been happening on that side of the world and there is a lot to talk about. Since March 2020, the country has restricted travel and international tourists are currently not allowed to enter the country. Only long-term pass holders, spouses of Malaysians and citizens are currently allowed to enter the country. Domestic tourism also remains restricted, but the government has planned to open the island of Langkawi as early as September 2016, but only to national tourists. So if you're located inside Malaysia, chances are you're gonna be able to travel to Langkawi in the next weeks. But should you be outside of Malaysia, this is not going to be an option for you. The government's plan remains to vaccinate at least 80% of the population. If and when it happens, local tourism is going to open up, things are going to return to normal, and very possibly shortly after, international tourists will be allowed to enter Malaysia again. As of right now, the government has not specified when it will open the borders to international tourists. So if you are looking to take a vacation to Southeast Asia, then I advise you to look elsewhere for the time being. You can consider Thailand, a country that is currently open, but only the islands of Phuket and Koh Samui are open and only if you are fully vaccinated. Let's have a look at the COVID situation in the country. As of mid-September 2021, the country is averaging 19,000 COVID cases per day. Since Delta arrived in Southeast Asia, things have gotten out of control, really out of control, because governments thought they had the pandemic under control and were about to open up their borders but as soon as Delta hit, everything changed. Over the past 30 days, the country has been averaging 200 to 300 deaths per day. With that being said, the virus is far from being contained in Malaysia. Having a quick glance at vaccination rates, 54% of Malaysians are fully vaccinated and 67% received at least one dose. So it's undeniable that the government is on track to achieve its goal to reach herd immunity by year end. Since August, 140 to 160,000 COVID tests are being taken every single day. And about 10 to 15% of all the people being tested test positive for COVID-19. Earlier on, Thailand made an announcement stating that they will no longer aim to eradicate COVID from the face of the earth. And instead, the government wants to learn how to live with the virus. A few weeks later, Malaysia mentioned exactly the same because they know they can win the battle against COVID. Let's have a quick look at the visa situation. As I mentioned in the beginning of this video, only long-term pass holders, such as Malaysia, my second home pass holders, spouses of Malaysians, as well as Malaysian citizens are allowed to enter the country during this pandemic. As we have also seen over the past 18 months, things can change depending on the COVID cases, depending on COVID deaths, depending on vaccination rates. As of right now, the country remains closed. But if you want to move to Malaysia, if you're a foreigner, you can probably do so by getting a long-term visa. Would it be the Malaysia My Second Home visa, an entrepreneur visa, study visa, or something like a spouse visa? A lot of people have left Malaysia during this pandemic and cannot come back into the country because of the current conditions. I think there is a lesson to be learned here. If you don't have to go abroad right now and if you don't want to get locked out, then I highly recommend that you stay in Malaysia assuming that you have a visa that allows you to do so. But I really think until things fully opened up and stayed open for a good amount of time, I would not consider traveling to Malaysia as a tourist. As we have seen in neighboring countries like Thailand, things change by the minute. So you don't want to end up being in a country where you just don't know what the government's going to do, how COVID is going to impact the current situation, 
and possibly force you to leave the country. If you want to travel to Malaysia as a tourist, you're going to have to be patient for a little bit longer. Chances are things are going to get better, but when they're going to get better, we don't know. So if you really want to travel right now, it is advisable that you choose destinations with relaxed COVID entry requirements because you're going to have less problems getting in and out of the country. I also wanted to talk a little bit about the Malaysia My Second Home program. As you guys know, in the past month, it was in August, the government announced massive changes to the program. The government increased the income requirements for new and existing Malaysia My Second Home Pass holders. I think this created a lot of uncertainty. It created also anger among some pass holders because they're going to have a really tough time meeting the new requirements. There is a lot of foreigners living in Malaysia on this visa. And for a retiree, you know, someone who has limited income, all, all of a sudden to ask them to have three to four times the income that they used to have the qualified, it's just not very realistic. Because first, they were required to only prove an income of 10,000 ringgit per month, which comes down to about $2,400, $2,500. But now they are required to prove an income of about $10,000 per month. If you are a retiree, you're probably going to have a very hard time meeting these requirements. And it's not only about the income requirements, the net worth requirements, the fixed term deposit requirements have changed as well. But first the government announced the new changes and a lot of people complained. Also a lot of visa agencies complained because they know that their clients and also current applicants that were looking to go to Malaysia on this visa simply can't meet these targets these high income requirements. After people expressed their opinion about the new changes, the government announced that they are going to review the new rules. I know this does not sound very positive and chances are the requirements are going to stay the same. When do you think Malaysia is going to open its borders to international tourists? You think it's going to happen this year or do you think the country needs a little bit more time? What's it like living in Malaysia during this pandemic? Leave a comment below and let us know. If you wanna avoid all the hassle that many people have to go through who travel to Asia during this pandemic, if you wanna avoid all of this, then I highly recommend that you choose countries with no COVID restrictions. And the good news is that I shot a video on these countries. You can watch the video by clicking on the link that appears right here. Highly recommend that you subscribe now and turn on alerts to receive a notification when I upload the next video on travel updates, COVID updates, and the best digital nomad expat destinations around the world. I see you on the next video. Thank you for watching.